And then we'll begin by closing our eyes and arriving to the gift of this moment here in your body. And the gift of this physical body with the breath flowing in and out. Breathe slowly and deeply with your loving awareness on your breath. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back. Now please initiate your next, your breath from your belly. So inhale from your belly, lift up through your body, up through your torso, and make your inner body full and buoyant. And then keep that fullness as you exhale your shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, lift up. Keep that lift as you exhale, relax your shoulders down away from your ears. One more time, inhaling up, creating fullness, creating space, and drag your shoulders back and down, relax them down away from your ears. And then gently open your eyes and take your arm out to the side. And you can take your right arm out and then your other arm straight up. And then reach, reach, reach your hand behind your back, behind your neck. Turn your thumb down and reach your other hand back. Just reach, draw both shoulders back as you lift up on that buoyancy that you create with your breath. And then re reverse it, stretch the other arm out and the other arm up. Shoulders back, lift up your sternum. And you can turn the arm out to the side down and take it back and just draw it back. Keep reaching up to your other arm and then take the back, the palm side of your head, hand to your neck. Draw your shoulders back and breathe. And then we'll reverse it again. Thumb down, back your hand to the back of your body and then scooch it out if it goes out and then palm to the back of your neck. Draw both shoulders back. And you can press your arms into your head or into your back to get a little more length and stretch. Just right, not too much, not too little. We like the Goldilocks principles, just right. And then we'll reverse it. Sort of like a windmill here. Draw this arm back, tack your shoulder back, and then palm to the back of your neck. And then see, maybe you can press your head into your forearm and draw your forearm to your back to get more space. Good, and then release both arms. And we will meet on our hands and knees. Spread your fingers really wide here. And we're gonna do cat and cow, but we're gonna focus our awareness on our shoulder and upper back and our neck. So start rounding your back. 
and round through your upper back and round your shoulders up and now tuck your chin in as far as it will go comfortably. Now start arching your lower back and then slowly melt your heart, your shoulders, reach up as your heart melts and then look up. And then we'll go the other way. Round your upper back. Press your upper back way up and tuck your chin in as much as it'll go. Big stretch in your cervical spine. And then again. You'll lift your neck up. Here, check and make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. And then one more time, rounding. Reach your upper back, your thoracic way up, stretch it up. Tuck your chin way in. And now come on through center. And draw your shoulders back. Let your upper back melt to the earth. As you get, look up. Good. And then come back to all fours. And Take your right hand out in front of you and slide your left arm down, set your left shoulder down and set your left side of your head down. Set it down and then push your right hand into your mat, draw your right shoulder back and you're rounding your back again, similar to that cat pose, rounding. And if you want, with your toes tucked, you can stretch your right leg straight back. And then set your knee down and we'll come on up. Take your left hand straight out in front of you and then slide your right arm through, set your right shoulder down, right side of your head down. Draw your left shoulder back. You can come up on your fingertips if you'd like to help you draw that left shoulder up and back, round your upper back. Optionally, slide your left foot straight back on your mat. Breathe as you round. Oh, that feels good. And then set your knee down, come up to all fours. And then, Sit back as much as you can, as comfortable. We're gonna do a pose called rabbit pose. So this is really a stretch for the upper back. So come on up to all fours again, and then set your head down right in front of your knees, wherever it's comfortable. If you can bring your head all the way to your knees, do so. Otherwise, put it wherever it's right for your body. And then reach back, get a hold of your heels, now, round your back up to the sky with your head gently resting down, round your back. Pull on your feet to really give your shoulders and upper back a good stretch. And then release it slowly and come back up to seated. See how that feels? And then twice is always better than once. So rabbit pose again. Come up to your knees, tuck your toes, set your head down as close to your knees as it comes comfortably. So you feel comfortable. And then reach back for your heels, if you can get them, and then round your back. And you can pull on your heels to stretch your upper back. Breathe right into that upper back, your shoulders. Excellent. Come back to the tops of your feet. Okay, come on to your belly. Lay down on your belly. So we just took the shoulders, rounded them. Now we're gonna take them the exact opposite way. So take 
your right arm straight out and press it down. Put your left hand in front of your, your chest on the same on the left side of your body. And set the right side of your head down. Bend your legs and then roll to your right side. You can walk your hand out. Set your feet down behind you. Really anchor your right arm down. That'll guide you how far to go and protect you too. Now your left hand, you can keep it right where it is in front of you on the mat, or you can start reaching it up. And breath by breath, take it back. And then set that left hand down, come to your belly. And then take your left arm straight out. Yeah, and set the left side of your head down. Come up on your right hand, right in front of your chest, bend both legs, and then roll to the left side of your body. Set your feet down behind you. If you want, you can reach your right arm up and back. Spread your fingers so it's not a floppy hand like this, but it's active. Activate all your muscles, fascia, fiber. And then slowly set it down. Roll from your belly back over to your first side. Tap that arm down. Right side of your head, right side of your body. Rest your feet down behind you. Adjust your arm. Tack it down. Reach your left arm up. Straight up and straight back. And then transition to the other side. Set your left hand down. And go to your other side. This is opening your pectoral muscles right in here, the ones that are often not stretched much. In fact, they're often sort of rounded. And set your hand down. Come to your belly. Lower your feet and press yourself up to all fours. Okay. Let's do a Adho Mukha Svanasana downward facing dog with extra awareness on our upper back. So press your hands down firmly. Lift your knees up. Yeah. Now here you want to have your head right in between your shoulders, your ears right in between your upper arms, what I mean to say. Externally rotate your upper arms. Externally rotate your upper arms. And then slide your heart, your bottom tips, your shoulder blades up your back. Hopefully you can feel that. Push your arms down and away. Stretch your heels back, your thighs back. Your, your upper arms, your upper arms, turn them a little bit up to the ceiling. Inside, up, inside. And then slide your shoulder blades back up, up your back, towards your hips. Fantastic. Walk your feet halfway up, walk your hands halfway back. And then heel toe your feet over nice and wide to the edges of your mat or a little wider if you want. And you can bend your knees a little, your head's still hanging here, bend your knees a little or you can keep your legs straight. And then take your arms up overhead and if possible clasp your hands and then shrug your shoulders up to the sky. This should feel really good in your neck and shoulders. 
one of my favorite, favorite stretches. The weight of your head gives you the perfect traction for your neck and your shoulders. And to get more out of this, you can inhale and deliberately stretch your head and your torso closer to the earth. And then on your exhale, you have an option to chug your shoulders up or your belly button up. So it's fun to sort of alternate. Let's do that. Inhale, lengthen your torso to the earth. Exhale, this time take your navel to your spine. And then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, shrug your shoulders up. And on your next exhale, we'll just release the arms down. And then inhale your arms back up. Clasp your hands the other way. Shrug your shoulders up and away. This is very energizing to your, to your neck, to your head, to your mind. Getting the blood flowing the other way. Inhales. Let your head hang. Exhale, shrug your shoulders away. Inhale, torso goes down, closer to the earth. Exhale, squeeze your belly button up to your spine. And on your next exhale, release your hands. Now bring your hands to your hips and press your legs down all the way. Hello. <laughs> okay. So please get your strap or your scarf or whatever you're gonna use. And take your arms pretty wide here so it feels uh, wider than your body, like about that much. And then you want to be able to pull on it. And then reach your arms up. And you can put your hands on here. It's not really totally scientific. It's just what feels like a good stretch for your shoulders. And then sort of just explore here your range of motion. See where it might get feel a little tight where it feels a little extra loose, where it feels a little extra good. And you're really sort of giving some tautness to the scarf or the belt. And now stretch it straight up and then start taking it down behind you. You can bend your elbows. Yeah, lift your heart up, sternum up and then press it up. And then keep pulling and start lowering your arms. And you should feel your upper back lifting or lift it. And then up. And then pull down. And then you can adjust your strap, take a little wider, and then maybe come all the way down. And then all the way up. And then all the way down back behind you. One more time. And up. Now, take one arm in front of you and one arm, or one arm straight up and one arm straight down. And then we'll reverse again. Gonna get the fluid Going the motion, scientifically proven to help with neck pain and shoulder pain. We want to nip it in the bud before we ever get that. Just keep it loose. Good. And then exhale, release your arms down. Okay. Get set the strap aside. Actually, I'm gonna have you get your strap again because I think you might like it for this. 
So hold on to your strap with your right hand or your scarf and reach your right arm up. Now take your hand back like this, just like we did when we were sitting, and take your left hand out, thumb down. Now reach back and see if you can get a hold of the strap and then pull. Gently, a gentle encouragement and pull, shoulders back. Now maybe if you have a short torso and longer arms, maybe you can clasp your hands. I'm a little short-waisted, so this is a little bit easier for me than some poses. If you have a short torso, you might be able to access this pose too. And slowly, 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 unclasp your strap or your hands. Good, that's a nice big stretch. Okay, so strap in your left hand, scarf in your left hand, take your arm straight up, stretch way up, and then take your hand behind your neck, right arm out, thumb down, back of the hand to the back of your body, and then shimmy. Shimmy your hand so you can get a hold of your strap or your fingers. If you have a long torso and short arms, this is more challenging. That's why we can use a strap or yoga toys to help us get a deeper stretch here. Have more fun. And then slowly, we'll release that one. Okay, now you can officially set your strap and your scarf to the side. Now, stand nice and tall, draw your shoulders back. You know, when we're on our phones like this, or we're on our computers, sometimes we just forget about what our body and our neck and our shoulders are doing. So I have a suggestion that you put a little sticker on your phone or a little notepad to say posture so you remind yourself to draw your shoulders back. And the more you remind yourself, the more it automatically happens. And maybe you only catch yourself slouching like this maybe only a few times a day instead of so, so many. And then you say, okay, back up, back up. Okay. So. Please stand tall with your shoulders back in mountain pose with your good posture. Side your throat back, your chin's nice and parallel at first. And then let your earlobe go toward your shoulder. And stretch out the long side of your neck using your awareness, your loving awareness. And then slowly come up, shrug your shoulders down again, and then to the other side. Your head's helping you, gravity's helping you, the weight of your head to lengthen and give these muscles some loosening. You can encourage and say, it's okay, let go. Thank you for holding up my head and doing all that all day. Now, here's a little love. Release, relax, loosen. And then come up. Now, take this arm straight up. Spread your fingers too. And now, go that side. There's a lot of variations on this next stretch. That first one is the basic. Another one is you can go like this. So you feel a little extra. And then another one is you take this hand up. Place your hand to the side of your head. Gently press your head into your hand and your hand into your head. Enjoy your breath. Good, and release, come on up and release. We're making ourselves so resilient right arm, uh, other arm up, whichever one you had, and then 
Take this arm up and hand to the side of your head. Gently press your head into your hand and your hand back into your head. And take three long deep breaths, filling up the long side of your neck. Beautiful. Good. Now lower our arms. Okay. Please put your hands right here on your shoulders. And then take your shoulders forward, up to your ears, and way back. Do some shoulder rolls, shoulder flossing. Giving care to your neck and shoulders. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And now go all the other way. When I was growing up, my mother subscribed to the Prevention Magazine. It was a little magazine it would come. It was a good thing to see. Oh yeah, prevention, that's a really good concept. <laughs> You feel any cracking? Hear any cracking? <laughs> I do. I hear yours. No, I hear mine. Okay. And release. Now, squeeze your shoulders all the way up to your Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze like you have shoulder ear. Squeeze. Make it really tight, tight, tight. Feel all those muscles get tight. Now we're going to do a big exhale and you can make a sound. <sighs> Let your shoulders fall down. Now we stay here, we don't go right back into it to give those muscles extra time to release, to relax, to loosen. Okay, squeeze up, 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 tight as you can. Squeeze tight. And then big exhale, let your shoulders fall down. That feels good. Give those tendons and ligaments a little another moment to relax. And then one last time, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze as tight as you can. And then let it go. Excellent. Okay. One more wonderful one for the cervical part of your neck, the cervical spine. You can do the sitting down if you'd like, but it seems like we're sitting so much, take every opportunity we can to stand. <laughs> uh, so side your throat back, belly back, and just engage your core just because it's a nice thing to do. Now, Tuck your chin all the way in. Tuck, tuck, tuck. And then open your mouth and lift your head up. Open your mouth as wide as it will go and lift your head up as much as it can. Turn your head up. And then when you've gotten your mouth open as much as it will go and your head's lifted as much as it will go, bring your bottom chin to the top of your mouth. And then slowly tuck your chin in again. This is also a nice stretch for your neck, your throat area. Open and lift. And then close. And then tuck again. Open and lift. And when you get all the way up, bring the bottom part of your mouth to the top part. And then come back to center. Okay. And then just shake yourself out. Just shake it up. Loosen it up. Wow. My shoulders feel a lot better. 
a lot looser than they did when we started. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the top half of the pose and with the option for you to do the bottom half. Garn and eagle pose. So take your arms way up. Actually, we'll do the top half and then add the bottom half. Wrap one arm under the other. Either one, it's okay. And then draw your shoulders back and lift your elbows up. And lift your elbows up a little more. Up, up, up. Yeah. And now bend your knees, stick your hips out, and start rounding your back and take your elbows into your belly. And inhale, lift your chest up, elbows up, shoulders up. And back through center, and unwrap yourself. And then take your arms out again, and the other arm underneath, the other arm on top. If you can't get, if you can't go all the way like that, just go where you can go. You are doing perfect. Now, shrug your shoulders back, lift your elbows up, all the way up. Bend your knees, stick your hips out, and round your upper back. Round it all in, take your elbows towards your belly. And then slowly come back up, push through your legs to straighten, elbows up. And then come back through center and unwrap your arms. So our, our shoulders have an incredible range of motion more than any other joint in the body. They go up, they go up, they go down, they go this way, they go that way, they go back. It's the most mobile joint in our, in our body. So it's amazing how many ways we can stretch it as a result. So back to Eagle Pose, Garandasana. So bend both knees and take your right foot and come up on your right toes. I'm doing the same leg as you and squat. Yeah, now open your arms out. I'm doing the same leg as you, same arm. So take your left arm under and your right arm over. And draw your shoulders back, sit a little lower. If you wanna balance, pick up your foot and maybe you can wrap your foot up again. Lift your elbows up, draw your shoulders back. Just for the fun of it, if you want to explore, research, see what happens when you round again and take your elbows in towards your belly. And then come on up. Unwrap and unwrap again. The bodies are a research project. <laughs> And Albert Einstein plays the highest form of research. Okay, so please bend your knees again, stick your hips out again, and wrap your left leg over, and you can stay on your toes here. Squat, squeeze your inner thighs together. Take your arms way up. Take your shoulders back. Yeah. Now this time you wrap your right arm under the left. And Squat a little lower. Maybe you can pick up your foot and balance. Maybe you can wrap it around. Just go to where it feels fun and good for you. It's all about feeling good. If you want to explore, see what happens if you round your back and take your elbows in. Is it possible to still balance and do this pose? Come on up, unwrap your arms, unwrap your legs. The answer could be sometimes yes, sometimes no. <laughs> okay, and then just loosen it all up. See how you're feeling. Okay, so we are going to, I'm gonna have you come back down to a seated pose. Somehow bring yourself down to a seated pose. Cross-legged. A 
if you want to really keep standing, you can for this next one. But I'm going to have you sit down. And if you want to sit up on a blanket or your pillow or your scarf so your hips get a little uh, height and your, so your lower back can come in, that's recommended. Okay, so shoulders back as we bring mindfulness to our shoulders. Remember that little note. Pretend like you're looking at your note. Shoulders back, chest up, slide your throat back. So often we go through our day like this. What are we doing? What are we going? This really takes, it takes a little bit of a, a, a determination to keep your neck back, your throat back, and your back of your neck nice and long. Okay. So please turn and look out over your right shoulder. I'm doing the same as you again. Look over your right shoulder. Keep your shoulders straight forward and just turn your head as far as it will go. Now release it just a little. Just release it like one or two inches. And then turn again as far as it will go. And release just a little. And then turn again. And now we'll come all the way through the center to the other side. So take it as far as it'll go. Make sure both shoulders are back. So this is a neck stretch here. And then release just a little. Good. And then turn again. Release a little. And turn again. Okay, and we'll come all the way through center. Now we're going to add a twist to this pose. So sit tall with our hands not on our thighs yet. So turn over to your right as far as you can go. Turn, turn, turn as much as you can go. And then place your hand on your knee, fingertips behind you to lengthen your spine. Both shoulders back. And look over your right shoulder. Then release it a little and look again. Release just a little and look again. Beautiful. Same thing on the other side. Turn from your transverse abdominis that we talked about earlier in another class. Turn, 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 and then hand down, hands down, lengthen. Shoulders back. Look way out over your left shoulder. And then release. And then turn left again. Just release an inch. And then look way out over again. And then come all the way through center. That feels really, really good. I'll take your hands straight up. Draw your shoulders back. Take your hands up and put your hands on your neck and give yourself a neck massage, a shoulder massage. Yes. This is a very good thing to do. Massaging your own neck here. There's a lot of um, lymph nodes in your neck right here. And when you can rub it, even if you have a little oil, a little sesame oil, coconut oil, or olive oil, and rub that in there, oh my God, you can really have an attitude adjustment. It's like feel so much better when you do that. What we're doing now, stroke down, back up on your neck. And then slide back. Really push in on those muscles. Feels so good. Okay. You can continue that later. <laughs> 
and then please lay down on your backs with your feet bent your knees bent your feet underneath your hips anchor your shoulders down feel your feet grounded down so we're going to do a bridge pose but we're going to emphasize the shoulders the shoulder area so really press your shoulders down and you can bring your arms up like in all that jazz bring your elbows nice and close to your torso anchor your shoulders down lift your chest up yeah and then press your feet down lift your hips up but focus on your chest area lifting your heart up towards your chin and make sure you still have a nice place in your throat to breathe it's very important rule number one keep breathing <laughs> so feel how you can anchor your shoulders down but lift your heart up and the bottom tips of your shoulder blades help to lift and then exhale come down and then you can release your upper back down and again anchor your shoulders down or elbows down shoulders down lift your heart up press your feet down lift up again this is bridge pose set to bond and now there's another option here is take one shoulder under and take the arm with it and take the other arm, shoulder arm and the other arm with it see if you can clasp your hands underneath and then anchor your shoulders back down lift your heart up more you have to press through your feet too to access even more space in your upper chest And breathe as your shoulders are anchoring down you're opening up the whole front side of your body your head is pressing down to anchor so you have a nice curve in your neck and then exhale lower your hips down all right so this is a good time to teach you shoulder stand it's one of my favorite poses this is the pose this pose is called the queen of all poses. So to get into it, you have your shoulders anchored down. And I want to show you just how to do it without a wall first, but there's a way that you can use a wall. We've done this before, Nadine and um, Pauline, I remember. So press your feet down, lift your hips up. That's basic. You're on your shoulders. You're all warmed up. Now set your hips down. Lift your feet up and then rock your hips up. See if you can place your hands here, right here by your glute muscles in your sacrum. And keep looking straight up. Make sure your head is your, your head, you're looking straight up, and you can feel that your neck is not on your mat. This is not a neck stand, this is a shoulder stand. You can stay right here like this, holding your hips up. Or you can take your legs in a pike position like that shoulder stand charvangasana or perhaps you can start walking your hands up your spine reaching your feet up to the sky now this pose has many many benefits it's the queen of all poses because it has so many benefits the king of all poses is Headstand. So you can stay right here like this if you're if you're already in this pose. I'm going to come down to teach you how to do it at a wall. So if you have a wall, or you can even maybe do it on a couch if you have a couch. Just something that's really stable, like a wall. You press your feet into it, and then your hips will come up. See if my wall, no. So you press your feet into it so that your hip, your hips will come up with the power of your feet. And then you can stay with your feet at the wall like that and then sort of scoot your hands underneath. Yeah, this is a nice way to get into this pose.
Okay, so you can do stay with your legs up or you can start slowly stretching one up and lowering one down behind you. And then inhale that one up slowly. Exhale the other one down. You see your toes are active to activate your feet, your ankles, and your shin. And then in this pose, gravity is sinking you down, so you have to keep reaching up all the way from your heart up through your legs. Your shoulders are the grounding, your head is the grounding, your neck has its natural curve, and everything else I'm pushing up to the ceiling, up to the sky. And you can lower one leg and then the other, or there's another pose some of you might want to try, is lowering both legs down slowly, resisting gravity, because gravity wants them just to fall, you resist, lift your inner thighs up, and then slowly see if maybe you can even touch your feet behind you. And then your inner thighs, you keep lifting your inner thighs up, There's one more level as you take your knees to your ears. Wherever you are, whatever stage you're at, there's a lot going on in this pose. Slowly put your arms down and slowly vertebrate by vertebrate come down. Now it's easier to come down with control with your knees bent. So I want you to come down with control whatever way is best for you. Stretch your legs long, stretch your arms out overhead. Yes, hook your thumbs together and reach out through your arms, out through your fingers and out through your toes. Keep reaching and pushing through your legs. Good. And now bring your arms down along your side. And please take your feet over to the edge of your mat. And take both knees over to the left with your feet at the edge of your mat. Stretch your right arm straight up overhead. This left arm can be anywhere you'd like it. Stretch up to your right arm. Optionally, pick up your left foot and place it on top of your right thigh to press down a little bit to give you an extra stretch here. And then unhook your foot. Bring your arm down and then knees up through center. Make sure your feet stayed at the edge of your mat and then let your knees go over to the right. Take your left arm straight up away from you. And then optionally pick up your right foot and place it on top of your left thigh. Press down so you get a juicier stretch here all through the whole left side of your body. And then lower your arm, unhook your foot, come back up through center. And then let's do it one more time. This is called windshield wiper pose. Knees over. Hook your foot and then reach your right arm way up. Self-care is our best health care plan. We know our bodies better than anyone. We're with it 24-7. And then unhook your foot and then come lower your arm. Feet back up, knees back up, feet over to the edge of your mat, and then drape your knees over to your right. 
left arm reaches up. And then pick up your right foot if you want and press it down on your knee to get an extra juicy stretch. And unhook your foot, bring your arm down. Okay. And go ahead, take your, bring your, actually, let your legs fall long. Let your legs fall open. Bring your elbows close to your torso to lift up your heart and feel your shoulders down. Now turn your palms up at about 30 degrees to the side of your body and feel how your shoulders can open. Just for the research of it, turn your palms down. Notice how your shoulders rotated in a little bit. So with your palms up, your shoulders can open a little more. Your pectoral muscles can open. And with your palms up, additionally, it suggests you're receiving now the benefits of your practice. The benefits of these shoulder stretches. Close your eyes. Feel your head resting on your mat. Feel your shoulders resting on your mat. Notice what part of your arms and hands are touching. Notice what part of your lower body, your hips, your glute muscles, your back. Let your legs sink down. Notice what part of your calf or thigh and heel, what part of those are touching your mat. For the next few breaths, relax your body more deeply on each exhale. Slowly bend one leg, set your foot down. Bend the other, set that foot down. Roll over to your right side. Please rest your head in your hands or your forearm. And then use your arms slowly. Bring yourself back up to seated. Try not to fling your legs through space as you sit up. And then wrap your shoulders up. Give yourself a hug. Just do a couple little circles like this. And then wrap your arms, shoulders up, and your arms up the other way, and make a couple circles this way. And 
and then bring your hands together in front of your own heart. Lift up your heart, lift up your sternum, draw your shoulders back. And from my looser neck and looser shoulders to your looser neck and looser shoulders, namaste.